Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Dead Estate. We are jumping in once again and this time we get to play as the boob lady herself, Cordelia. Uh, we get her cutscene here as we jump in and um, yeah, she's, she's kind of interesting. I remember playing her previously. Basically, she doesn't get weapons the same way everyone else does. She has a bit of a unique mechanic with that and playing as her essentially sets off the story, the main, the main sort of quest, as you would say, of this game. Uh, it allows you to unlock the alt path and do the true ending, things like that. So hopefully we can, um, we can do that and have a bit of fun with the alt path once we've beaten this run. Provided we actually win with her, which is obviously up in the air right now, but we'll see. Anyways, let's just let this play out and then we'll continue on after. It has played out. <laughs> that was it. There you go. So we've actually unlocked almost all the characters already. We're only missing two. Um, but yeah, we have to play as Cordelia here. Don't have any extra costumes as her. Let's jump on in. If I remember correctly, she has reasonably average HP and stats and stuff. But yeah, she has a pretty unique thing in terms of how she works with weaponries. Um, as you can see here, she has this. She also has the ability if you jump and then hold while you're in the air, you'll hover, which is rather nice. It's not super useful in all circumstances, but it is nice to have regardless. And if you go into Cordelia's shop, we can see it's actually not Cordelia. Interesting. So we definitely want that. Uh, and it gets the bad effects of toilet paper. Ooh, I would very much like to have that because I still don't know what that does. And I'm sure that's something to do with a, a character unlock or something. But yeah, as you can see, he starts with this little wand here. This is an infinite ammo weapon. Uh, but things get slightly more interesting once we find our first weapon um, to use, our first alternate weapon. Things aren't really as they normally would be. Um, and we'll, we'll sort of see that as we go forward. Did I miss out on that money there? Okay, no. It is still in the room. You just have to go back and collect it. That's fine. We'll try and do this as well. Why the hell not? So two items as well. I always prefer it when it's for two items rather than one. Just feels a lot better. It's like it's like BS that the count the timer counts down while the enemies are spawning in to start with. But the second wave and stuff I kind of get it, but otherwise it's like, excuse me. I'm taking damage, but it's okay. We've got six HP right now. I just really want to try and get this beat. 14 seconds to go. We should be fine here. There you go. We got it. And we get ourselves. Briefly gets invincibility in front of entering a room and lowers your HP by half, but you move real fast. I actually really like that. The movement speed can be a little off-putting, but we'll get used to it and we can always buy more HP. I will certainly take that on board. Beautiful. Oh my god. I'm going to end up like running into things because I'm running at too high a speed to handle. It's kind of funny. We yeah, get a chest here. That's gonna be um, makes you explode upon death if your explosion kills an enemy. Oh, that's very nice. Okay, so we have a potential way of coming back, which is really nice. Then yeah, the hover jump with the speed is kind of nice. That's our boss. Gonna open that up. Also, it means we can do that whole like jumping through an entire room in one fell swoop, which I love. Teleport here. We'll definitely crack these open, especially. Considering we can one-shot most of these things. Beautiful. Oh, we are up oh, secret room. I see you. I see you. We get ourselves the blood staff. Here we go. Look. So instead of getting regular weapons, she gets alternate versions of her staff. Suck the blood off enemies within a certain range. So she gets alternate versions of her staff rather than getting regular weapons. She has her own unique pool of weaponry, which is pretty cool. can suck the blood off enemies. Some of them are better than others. This one is not amazing, as we can clearly see. It does a decent job on low HP enemies, but otherwise not great. Thunderstaff, um, yeah, we'll do that. So let's eat this up and then take that one. Thunderstaff looks very big and vivacious. I'm going to take it and be happy with it. Right. Let's come in here. Definitely grab that, grab that. And do you know what? We'll grab them all. We'll grab them all. And we'll try and buy a damage upgrade as well if you can afford it. We'll see what we're like after this room. There you go. We can afford it indeed. Go back here. This is another reason why the movement speed's so good. Getting around before chunks arrives is something that I love to see. Get damage. Beautiful. 
make our way all the way back to the boss. Chunks is on his way, but we're fine. And then we'll use our Thunder Staff here and see how it does. Depending on the boss, we might kill it pretty darn quickly here. Oh my god, that's awesome. Very loud. Which is strange to hear. God damn, is it good. It, is, it has a bit of AoE to it. Do you know what? It's not actually doing all that much damage, I'll be honest. Gotta be careful with that. There you go, we got it. We're good to go. Next floor. We have a good amount of money as well for the next floor. Thunderstaff seems more like a room clearer. It seems very good at AoE, but it didn't do too well against damage, like damage-wise against the boss. It just have a, has a wide radius where it can hit. There you go, so for a special surprise. That is exactly what we're trying to do now, game. We are on our way towards doing that right as we speak. Hope for the best. So yeah, we'll, we'll go back to the thunder thing. There you go. Look at that. Not too bad. Oh, we got a golden boy there. Nice. Now we got a ton of money. Jumped right into that one, didn't I? Yeah. It just doesn't do that much more damage than our regular attack is the only thing. So we have to be a little bit wary. It does make hitting things like that a hell of a lot easier. It's just crazy how loud it is though. I don't know why it's so exaggerated compared to our regular attack. Oh, I didn't even bother to move out of the way of that. My bad. HP there, lovely. We're getting a lot of HP out of pots right now, which is real nice to see. So we can swap this out now, we can sell it for pennies. And then we get magical weapon that fires flaming projectiles. Rather nice. Never like using the teleport really, I'd rather just move around myself. We've still got this that we need to uh, sort out and figure out how to work with. I'm not exactly sure what that is. Hello. Surprise Confetti grants a chance uh, to get an item whenever you destroy a weapon. Pretty good. Do you know what? I'm going to go for that. Guarantees the doctor office will appear on every main floor. That's really good too. So if I... If I just... Like, I, I wonder if the amount of ammo in the weapon changes the likelihood of us getting an item. If not, I could just use it until it's down to one ammo and then destroy it. Honestly, it's what I'm going to do with this bad boy. Crack all these open. More HP is great for extra money. Thank you much. Oh my god, I just speed around the room. Look at this. Absolutely speeding through. Right, don't attack the, the queen bitch until... Oh, apparently I did hit her. Okay, though, we've got the speed to get the hell out of the way of that very easily. That door's open now, good. That item is going to be... Grants an additional one maximum HP for every thousand you have. Not very good right now, but in the late game could prove valuable. Right, so now let's get rid of this. No item, unfortunately. I do wonder if it's dependent on the amount of ammo left in it, because that would make sense. Next weapon I get, let's just try instantly destroying it and see if I get an item. It's a gold fella, awesome. Now these guys teleport here. Quickly go back. I've not seen my secret room yet. I'm not very good at looking for them, I'll be honest. Chunks is near. He is close by. Right, chop all these down. One last room. Ah, that's what I was looking for. My uh, challenge room. Need to get in there before Chunks arrives though. Good, good. And we got whatever this is. I'm not actually sure what this is. We shouldn't have too bad of a time fighting these guys, I wouldn't think. Apart from when I get hit because there's barrels in the way. 
get some movement space. I think we can largely ignore the uh, the white dude, whatever you want to call him, little ghostly figure guy. I say that and immediately get hit by him. Definitely can't ignore these ones. These are the only targets. Awesome, and then we get ourselves increase your maximum health. That's really nice. It's not the best thing in the world, but really nice to have. Oh, fucking what? I didn't know chunks could come in here. Whoops. I was not ready for that. Uh, actually, something I'm going to do real quick is go back up this way. No, no, no. Actually, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Back to the boss. Right, boss time. Slightly, going to be a slightly tricky boss with our lowered, ri like our slightly low range and stuff here. We'll, we'll see how we do. Unfortunately, we did get one of the harder bosses on this floor. I mean, he teleported directly onto me there and dealt quite a bit of damage, so. Luckily, we do have good damage ourselves. Just only having two hits left, I'm a little bit worried. Luckily, you can kind of keep track of the boss just by constantly hitting it. There you go. Good stuff. We are getting through the floors pretty quick at this point. I think we're doing pretty damn well. I'm hoping that now that we have the shop appearing... Also, I like her pixel boobs. They, they, they look very strange. It's funny. Um, we have the um, medical facility appearing every single floor now. So we kind of want to be saving money for that. These slightly higher HP dudes here. God damn, this movement speed is very, very nice. Nice one. Right, hoping for HP from one of these at least. You know I won't get it, yeah, I'm gonna say. Unlucky bastards sometimes. Oh, we got a golden, uh. Got a golden elevator here. Good, and then weapon. We get the bullet staff. Let's just try and eat it straight away and see if we get an item. Ah, we didn't. Come now. Upsetty spaghetti. I still don't know if these things can hurt you. I've had them touch me before and they do no damage. And they're just there to bother you. Be bothersomes. Destroyed. See you there, scorpion. Or leech, apparently, is what they are. I always thought they were scorpions, but apparently they are leeches. Vases contain a little more money. It's reasonable. We did get a plus one maximum HP because we've got over a thousand gold now as well, which is rather nice. Unfortunately, it did not heal us, though. Shop here. Move faster while jumping, that could be insane. Receive a complete ammo refill your current weapon at the start of every floor. Pretty good. Uh, obtain a bonus coin every time you break a pot or kill an enemy. Let's just take it, why not? It'll be absolutely insane, but... It's kind of funny. This means we can absolutely zoom through most floors. Oh my god. Okay, no, this is terrible. I'm moving way too fast for my own good. Yeah, that, that is... Yeah, that was that was terrible. I was moving at such breakneck speeds I could barely control myself. Right, let's give it another go, shall we? <clears throat> that was terrible. Okay. We've got Cordelia's shop there, or not Cordelia, because we're Cordelia, but you know what I mean. Chests, give me something. There's so much money on the early floors. It's kind of crazy. Oh my god, I feel so like slow now. This is weird. So strange. I don't know what this is, but I'll take it. We know that we can beat this with base damage. We've done it before. 
Obviously, it depends on the enemies that spawn, but for the most part, this shouldn't be hard. Especially when it gives us a fight like this. Wow. Not too bad at all. And these are great because these give you quite a lot of money as well, these guys. Should be able to do this in time. Yeah, there you go. Reveals the contents uh, of cultist shops. I'm not sure how valuable that is because I've only ever come across one cultist shop, but could be good, I guess. Could be good. Gotta do that little hover motion over those spikes there, make sure we do. Um, handguns, that uh, doesn't really help us. Triples the time it takes for pickups to disappear. I didn't realise there was a time limit on them anyways. Item chests will contain a weapon instead. Hell no. Okay, unfortunately our shop there is pretty dookie. Not very happy about that. Right, do the classic. The double damage. See our secret room there, lovely. It's always a bit bollocks when your secret room is like, here's like five pennies. I got more than that in the last room I was in, you fool. Not very valuable. Oh my god. Rooms like this are always funny. There's a ton of leeches. I'll try and remember to call them leeches, but they just look like scorpions to me. I don't know if anyone else thought they were scorpions, but... I don't get what the little, like, mouth thing they've got going on is if it's a leech. Looks weird. At least a big explosion went down to 1 HP. There's a lot of items that do that. It's like, do something when you hit Egg Staff. Do something when you hit 1 HP, but I always, I don't, I don't know, I always feel like they're not that great. Okay, I like this staff. This staff's pretty awesome. It spawns like little maggots when it hits enemies and they deal extra additional damage. I can get behind that idea. Take out these. Still not one-shotting the red chest, sadly. I don't know how much HP they technically have, but... Taking us a while to get to that point. Right. Egg Staff and Wreck. Look at that little bounce she does. Damn it. It's always a bit of a shame when you get this boss, because the other boss gives you so much more money. Ow. There you go. Nice and easy. Up we go. Not finding the flaws too difficult right now. It's just a matter of that last run having just insane speed. It's annoying as well because we had really good items. And this time, items really didn't do so much, too much for us. We um, we got a shop that was kind of a little bit lackluster really, didn't we? We get a golden pot here, which is nice. HP there. I really should try try using my other weapon here rather than my egg staff. Because this thing still does great damage. Imagine if we could get the fire out we had on that other run. The Wim uh, Wimbo run, whatever that, whatever that character's called. With this. That'd be insane. At least we got another shop here straight away. How you doing, sweetie? Move faster while jumping. All pots and enemies sometimes drop freezy pops which slow enemies. Nice one. Buying three items from the shop on the same floor gives a free item chest. And I guess I'll take that to get the free item chest. It's toilet paper. Oh, bollocks. I picked it up by accident. Okay, that definitely puts a damper on things. We've now got two HP. I did not mean at all to um, pick that up. I don't know if we're stuck at two HP now or if it's just set us to two HP. We do have the more movement speed while jumping now, which is somewhat scary. There's the freezy pops. I like those. Don't know what this is. Some sort of calendar? I'll use my egg staff for this. Oh, really? I got hit straight away. Wow! These guys are all over me. Okay. Did not mean to pick... It'd be nice if there was, for, for something like toilet paper, if there was a, there was a confirmation button to say, do you want to pick this up? Because I did not mean to pick it up. 
it spawned on me and I just automatically picked it up. It's just like, oof. More fool me, I guess. A lot of early game first floor action for you guys today, I guess. <laughs> I still don't know if Fake Poo actually does anything to help you or if it is literally just the funny sounds. Didn't get a single uh, golden scorpion in here, which is kind of rare, but I don't mind. Still, this, this room gives you a lot of money and potential HP as well. Look at that, so much money already. Go back to our shop real quick. Got you. And you. Thunderstaff again. Thunderstaff wasn't very good last time, but I'll keep it for room clearing, I guess. I just like messing around with a little hover. Funny. Right, what you got for me? Error! Randomizes your secondary weapon every three seconds. That sounds fun. Increase uh, fire rate, but projectiles curve. Taking damage from an enemy marks them for death, so they take more damage. Okay, so every three seconds our weapon will change. It still only has 50 ammo though, I see. Still gonna run out of ammo pretty darn quickly then. Get the strength going. The amazing it randomized my infinite ammo one, but the pipe dream that. Okay. Keep it going. But 21 damage per shot on our basic weapon. Still really good. But I imagine if you pick up an uh, uh, a weapon that has a ton of ammo, this is very valuable. I see a secret room there. Try and get what we can from this. Boss door open. Good, good. 26 is just almost meaningless. That low. Two items here. Every three seconds is very rapid for this to change as well. Okay, we're all out of ammo now. Get him, boys. Get him. Limits you to 500, but grants a speed boost and damage boost when you reach that limit. That's actually pretty decent. Right, boss time. But yeah, we need a weapon that has like a really high capacity of ammo. That'd work really well. Goddamn fake poop. Better to get this boss than the other one. Not not doing very well as Cordelia here, am I? The Cordelia gameplay has been lackluster. I suppose it is what it is, but we'll try our best. So we are at that 500 limit now. 500 is actually a pretty damn low limit, if you think about it. Some items that cost like 300, so... Play Oakley Mumbo 3. Mumbo 3. What the hell? Got like Mambo number 5. <laughs> but at, the, at the minute, I don't want to be taking any money, which is very hard to avoid. Don't want that money. I've got to be like exiting the room before the money zooms towards me. Otherwise, it's kind of going to waste. Okay. 
Chance for a snow time to blow through a room upon it, freezing enemies for 10 seconds. Makes you move faster. You're flat broke. I like the way that it acknowledges that. Don't know what this is. Gotta try it. I've got to just have all the things, haven't I? All the big mouths. Big mouths are actually really weak. It can't hit you that easily either. Not sure if we're going to quite beat this one. 18 seconds to kill these guys. Not a lot of time. Actually, okay, it wasn't so bad. Heart pickups will drop more often. I'm very happy with that. Thank you. Here. Yeah. Oh, hello. There it is. The evidence. Right there. Heart pickups are already dropping more often. You'll love to see it. You'll love to see it. Right. Into the weapon place here. Hope for something with high ammo. It's not super high ammo, but it's decent. Ayo, more HP. Good, good. That could save our life, that could. Getting all this extra HP. Golden pot should probably put us up to 500, right? No, actually it didn't. Not even close. Yeah. Boom, boom, bow. Still this room again, okay. Still don't exactly know how to get through there, but I'm sure I'll learn in due time. Shan't take us too long. Haven't got the key yet, have we? Bollocks. One of these is a buffed up guy as well. You can see the shadow is slightly redder and slightly larger. Click on what run rings around him. Are you stuck down there? I, th I think that enemy was stuck there. Beautiful for me. Okay, good. We get our item. Compass. Good, good. And we get this as well. One thing that I just remembered. We should buy another thing from the shop to get a free chest. Or Do we still have that? Oh, that was before, wasn't it? Damn. Ah, bugger. I thought that was something we still had. It most certainly is not. We don't need to be popping these. We're at full health and we've got our maximum amount of money right now. Right. What you've got in store for us here? This guy again. Oh, bollocks. Although, we did just mark him for death and he is taking significantly more damage now. So, that wasn't such a bad thing. In fact, we killed him amazingly fast. That's actually not a bad tactic if we're willing to waste some HP. Not a bad tactic at all. We didn't even use our normal weapon. We uh, Sorry, we, we only use our normal weapon. We didn't use our special weapon at all. We probably should have done. Okay, we're coming into this floor this time around. Much better off. We've also got a lot of mapping going on, which is rather nice. And the shop straight away to spend our money. Gun nut's kind of interesting, because we could get something with really good ammo. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for Gun Nut. It's a little bit risky, but it just means we can use our weapons way more often. And considering they change so often, that's like really valuable for us. Can't get in there yet. We've also got a heart shop over here. Beautiful. Got that HP back straight away, which I love. Goddamn hate this stupid leg thing. Good. I've got the lightning again here. We're almost out of ammo on this bad boy already. Hey, there's the snowstorm, finally. Took long enough. Dude! This weapon is so bad for um, knocking enemies into you. The thunder one. And I never want that to happen. I'm sorry, but I never want that to happen. We've already got strength. 
I'd like more strength, please. Right. Good. Get our key. Excuse me, little bunny. Not a fan of that idea of you hitting me. Okay, gonna need some healing here, please. Seems like it's just not meant to be a Cordelia right now. Oh, really? We're one penny off buying our damage upgrade. Come on. Let me like this. Okay, there you go. We got it. Can I go back this way and get that real quick? Thank you. Don't cause any trouble. I won't. I won't. Don't worry about me. I'm just a witch. Doing witch things. Hey, we get the blizzard again here. That's rather nice for these enemies. Although it doesn't last as long as I would have thought. Actually, to be fair, it, it, visually it doesn't last for very long, but it does actually freeze them for quite a while. Nice. Oh, bollocks. I keep getting hit. Apparently that's my special talent today, is taking too much damage. Gotta love that. I like the way these guys jump, but yeah, it's kind of funny. <sighs> HP, thank you. <sighs> this this might be my least favorite enemy in the entire game thus far. I just I just in any video game that's ever existed, I hate enemies that have invincibility like stages. Just make you wait around to kill them. It's just tedious. We got a hundred ammo in this bad boy. Let's just get rid of this one straight away and sell it. Some money that I left in this room. And this one... This one only got 50. Damn it, I need something with a lot of ammo. I'm not really getting that right now. Good. Oh my lord. Damage I'm taking is unforgivable. Tree boy again, god damn it. Get away, tree boy. We got you as well. We can't even do a challenge room while you're chasing us, can we? Nope, we can't. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh no. Oh no. I'm having such a hard time. Chunks, please. Keep away. Oh, there's HP right there. No, Chunks, you stole it from me straight away. What the hell happened with that? Okay, good. We're going to have to do our boss fight on one HP. Are you ready? This isn't going to bird well. Honestly, this has been a rough episode. If anyone's getting any tips for Cordelia, please let me know, because I'm not having a good time. I don't remember how this guy works. I somewhat remember this. I don't remember how to dodge it very well. Ah, God. It's chasing me. It's chasing me. It's gone. And I got HP. Okay. Doggy. Probably could have followed another damage up there if it had taken my time to go back. I'm onto the last floor now, anyways. We just gotta get through this and then we're golden. Okay, so first things first, I wanna go over here and make my way towards. Oh, you little bastard. Okay, at least you gave them the HP back. There's an enemy here. There we go. He'll say, are you going to drop down at all? A bit sick of fart sounds now, but... 100 again. Everything seems to have 100 ammo with this woman. Is 
that hits you? Okay, good. I'm gonna have to buy Ambrosia here, which is a shame. Um, increases your damage, I'll take that as well. Go this way and hope I can get the key. This is just a staff with Herming, this is... Get out of here. I need the egg staff, like, to actually get the egg staff. That's like 200 and something ammo. That thing would be good for us. We're back to our normal staff now, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. Not too bad with these guys. Back we go. I don't know if having less items is hurting us or not, but I like using weapons with this error thing, it's good. Here's the key for us. Okay, the blizzard is making these guys not pop down, which is not great. There you go. Oh god! They move a lot faster than I thought it would. I don't know how much damage they do, slash how big their explosion is. But I'd rather not find out. Right, we got in here this time. Yeah, the damage is just not great right now. It's fine, but it, like, could be a lot better for this floor. Ow. Don't know what that is. I'm not going to take a risk. Okay, go this way, try and get our weapon. Go back to the boss. Ooh, love the gliding. The gliding's so valuable. These little blue head guys are an absolute pain. Good. Egg staff. There you go. 250 ammo. That's the sort of shit we're looking for. So now we have all the staffs with a ton of ammo. Awesome. Right, boss fight time with a good old staff. Ooh, I don't really remember this guy very much. That seems to hit the fists. He doesn't seem that hard right now. Okay, he wasn't that hard at all, that's why. He was very easy actually. Go this way. Up this. I don't know why Cordelia can't sa like stand on those right. Seems to slide off of it. I don't know if this actually works correctly in terms of where we're going here. Complete a run as Cordelia for a special surprise. That's what I'm doing! Gold! The bathroom. Chamber of waste. This is where you need toilet paper. Significantly boosts your damage and attack speed. Chunk never spawns again. And items and weapons will spawn from pots. Okay. Awesome. We finally know now. Okay. We've got some inkling of what the hell's going on here now. Is there anything in this room that I can do? Who hung this poster? I don't think I can do anything with it though, can I? I'm trying to interact with it, nothing's happening. Okay, let's get it gone. 
So we finally have found out where we take toilet paper now, which is good to know. Basically, you take a huge risk loading your max HP to two, but you get a pretty big benefit out of it. It's a pretty big risk reward. I like that. Okie dokie. Let's go do this. Unfortunately, both of these are kind of useless for us right now. Oh, I took one of them by accident anyways. Great. I guess I'll get rid of that one, take that one. How you doing, sweetie? Spawns a star projectile that circles the room, damages enemies, and ammo becomes more frequent. Boosts damage, but causes bullets to randomly change direction. I'll take that as well. Right. Now all we've got to do is win. Which I think with maximum HP and 100 ammo on the ever-changing staff is reasonably likely. I'm not going to say it's guaranteed, but it's reasonably likely. So let's hope for the best. Let's hope for the best. Right, let's go in here. Keep moving along. Fight that chunky boy himself. Okay. Gotta play it safe. Careful with a thunder one. Okay, whatever whatever staff I have right now doesn't have the range to reach him, which is great. We need the egg one. The egg one's like really, really good for getting kills. There's quite a few staffs actually that are kind of useless. The magnet's really nice. There's the egg one. Whoa! Okay, we're, we're taking a lot of damage here. Hey, there we go. We got the kill though. Awesome. There you go. We have to go through a unique door here. And get a different ending. Read me. To the two lights of my life, the most wonderful daughter a father could ask for, Cordelia, and my eternal love, Rosalia. Oh, I've got to skip the text, I see. I suppose there's no easy way to put this, but if you're reading this, there has been a catastrophic failure involving my latest experiment. Of course, I've probably been gone quite a while by the time you have read this, but I am writing this just in case something goes wrong. As for the experiment, I've emerged myself into the studies uh, of interdimensional travel over the last few decades, I'm sure you're already aware. My research in this last year has been especially fruitful. You've seen some of the creatures in the house, yes? These are beings who come from a dimension that I have recently made contact with, a realm I've des designated Exit. Don't ask why. Using a portal that I've set up with chunks, I have successfully pulled several creatures from the Exit realm into our own world. It was impossible to move from our realm into their realm until very recently. I was able to send Chunk through the portal into Exit Realm and sudden, um, successfully reel him back into our own dimension afterwards with no harm done to him. This was a major breakthrough in my research. Tomorrow I plan sending myself through the portal. If anything happens, which is safe to assume if you're reading this, I have given Chunks a special serum that will enable him to protect both of you. Chunks is already is also the one that... Uh, it is also the only one capable of activating the portal. It'll be far too dangerous for any of you to come after me in the other dimension, so the serum should also uh, wipe any memories he has working on the portal with me. This is for your safety. Finally, if Chunks becomes unruly, I've prepared an antidote to revert him into his original mouse baby state. I've left the box containing the antidote just outside my lab on the balcony. 
The key, to, um, the key to this box as well, somewhere in this mansion. I forget. Just look around and you'll find it. My memory isn't what it used to be. I apologise. In any case, this journal hopefully won't be need, need to be read. But in the rare event that either um, of you find this, I want you to know one thing. I love you both with all my heart. P.S. Rosalia, don't forget to feed chunks. Cordelia, please for the love of God, don't drop out of college. P.S. 2. Thank you for providing me with the best years of my life. I love you both a million times over. That mad bastard. What did you do? There you go. You unlocked the alternate route as a new um, and a new bonus floor, the basement. Awesome. That's the alt path unlocked. Question mark, question mark, question mark, indeed. But yeah, there you go. A nice end to that run, and we are set up for the next one that we go across. Ooh, there you go, we got another cutscene. This is him. Oh lord. Okay, that's going to be something that we have to fight in the future, I think. But there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. This is definitely a fun one. More story progression. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.